Yes, welcome to the Jamaica Young Police Channel. To all my loyal viewers and subscribers, welcome. And to those who are joining the channel for the first time, welcome and I hope you enjoy um, this video. So, you know, we are here embarking on some police corruption, serious police corruption. Here, yeah, police selling guns and ammunition to the criminals in Jamaica. And this police officer, you know, was a poster child, you know. If it wasn't for, for these police officers and patrol paying attention to detail, guess what? Maybe this man, you know, the same policeman, you know, who was the poster child for the police force, you know, for, you know, transforming the police force, maybe that man would be the commissioner of police now, you know, because this man had the police hierarchy of the men ah and he was the mad police for the transformation of the police force yes long before we become familiar with the Asians connection of drugs or guns with the Jamaican fishermen we had one of the biggest gun dealer in Jamaica for the black market and he was police sergeant Russell Robinson who was in entrusted by the upper echelon of the police force and the face of the Jamaica Constabulary Force was out there selling many guns, high-powered weapons to homegrown terrorists in the Kingston metropolitan area. Sergeant Russell Robinson was the poster child for the police force and it is rumored and said that he is one of Owen Ellington protege. Yes, He's one of Owen Ellington protege. That is what is reported. So, you know, by reporting that um, Sergeant Russell Robinson was a protege of, you know, former commissioner of police, Owen Ellington, you know, it's only reinforced that it seems like everyone who's connected to this former commissioner of police, they have some dirty laundry behind, behind them. It seems like there's no one with any form of honesty, ethics, or truthfulness, or decency, or a conscience around um, former police commissioner Ellington. Because it's just pure crooks, you know, you have been coming across. When I was serving, he wasn't commissioner of police. As I've said, and I'll say it again, I have never met the man. Never, ever met him. Period. So, I cannot elaborate. The only thing that is what... Anything that I have known about um, Owen Ellington is when I was serving in the police force and when and since I have left I have never met the man never ever met him so apparently a police of my background and character I would not meet him because I was not even police officer you understand? and I was not a corrupt police officer I was a crime fighter so you know all of the thiefing police them were very very close to him but there's so much, you know, so many information to, you know, to go through um, about um, these people. You know, I know they are lauded, supported and elevated to high position because people are compromised. You know, and Sergeant Russell, you know, he's just, boy, the man was just a criminal. You know, but he was the face of the police force, you know, and he was lauded. You, you know, this man was the face of the police force, the image Yet while they were making him larger than life in the police force, he was selling guns like an arcade vendor. Being the fierce mean you do everything the brand would, would do, bring awareness to the police department and communities, building community thrust, was consistently ranked as the highest priority for the police officers. You understand? That was the highest priority of the police officer then. And take advantage of public relations opportunities, so they know to master the or to man, you know, master the, the media. In Jamaica, we do not have a criminal problem. What we do is a criminal, terrorist, and corruption problem. What we have is a corrupt serious system called a government elected by criminal-minded people, who in turn elected criminals on this little island called Jamaica. And based on what is happening there. You don't know who's a criminal and who's not. Because the government is cleaning the criminal records and turning them into model citizens. 
as a former detective of the Jamaica Constable Force, the Jamaican government is deliberately exporting convicted criminals to other countries to cause mayhem. At this channel, as a community, we do not like criminals, terrorists, and their supporters, enablers, and financiers. No man is above the law, and no man is below it. Nor do we ask any permission from any man when we ask him to obey the law. Taylor Roosevelt. It takes courage to uphold the law and deprave my people. Break the law. Before I commence the video, have you subscribed to the channel as yet? Yeah, it's a question I am asking. That's more or less, you know, you must like, like the topic that, you know, that I've been delving into. Yes, because I'm telling you about police corruption, police officer selling high power weapons to criminals in Jamaica. And this police officer was connected to the upper echelon of the police force. The poster child, the poster boy for the police force, the face of the police force. I remember they said they transferred the police force to modern it, modern poli modern it, but we haven't seen it as yet. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please, yeah man, hit on the subscription button. It doesn't cost a penny, a pound, a pence, a nickel, nothing. It's free. And it, most of all, it won't clog your phone memory. So don't worry about your phone um, getting slow or anything like that. No, it won't affect it. So, because this is YouTube and YouTube is on the internet and it has nothing to do with your phone unless you download a video you know you have to go to youtube to download a video for it to cause memory problem for your phone so moving on please like the video click on the notification bell and select all that when we upload a video you will be the first person to get the no notification yeah man thanks for subscribing so moving on you watch you listen you decide so I want you to listen to this police officer who used to be at St. Andrew South, which is, you know, my former um, workplace, Unsby, and he had met one of the police officers who had prevented Sergeant Russell Robinson from selling, man, many, many guns. Many, many guns. So I want you to just hear a little thing about um, this police officer after this policeman um, is um, come, and then I'll tell you what really happened. But this is a policeman who's giving you an intimate, an intimate delivery about this police officer, one of them who was involved in this big, big um, gun bus. So you listen. One of. Yeah, man. Morning, people. I talk about Cynthia this morning. Because I really I think about it. One ex district constable by name Garnet Taylor from Kingston East. No I found him from Kingston East. You know. In turn, regular police. Garnet Taylor. Same picture there. So I put you up there. Now, this is our. District constable. But upon patrol and out there. And during him patrol him see suspicious activity. I may mean, tell us the, the man take it on. And there goes a regular sergeant. Poster boy, you know. The man there. A poster boy, the man that favorite the man there. Uh, are the eyes of the JCF and the man that changed the JCF you know? and the man that made the new uniform of the JCF you know? are the eyes of the JCF me I talk about you know? the man boasts you know, everything you know? post a boy me I talk about you know? mag the police you know? <laughs> and the man that in charge of stores HQ stores with all the firearm there Trust word, you know. With the man trust with every iPod weapon now. And I man has sell them out of Kingston East, you know. <laughs> the man has sell the gun, you know. Dangerous man, you know. But the district council will never back down. The, the man see one hour go on. The man take it on. 
and take the district and um, and take the the regular sergeant in a custody after and catch him and transact business with gunmen with, with the government firearms that sell them, they exhibit them after they're done with them and they store them and should I take them and crush them and dash them and then sitting there and that happen the man take the man that custody but you have now it was like by SP um, by Commissioner Ellington Ellington take him sign him up in the um, over over the academy turn him in a regular police ask him where you go you hear man say Hunts be in Wango because he want me to put a detective corporal name Evans Blake because it Evans Blake I am I hide the man say love how Evans Blake work and the man say who oh, I meet him I don't know if he meet him but when he come in come on be and he come from my team and as a sub officer we take him and me work every day and night and the man show the real Mackay the man step on crime wicked the man a step on the man a street fighter the man a crime fighter, the man have it. And to the man have it, the man has love how classic up a control and move. The man just love how, he, the man tell me say love classic up a control and love Evans Blake. Detective Carpal Evans Blake, the same one where we are lump some. I try make it like him a criminal and you know them stay already. Same Blake, good boy, real man. All right, but it goes on further. The man said to me, "Say, you know, sir, General, you know, sir, me not get the recognition when we forget. Me not get the thanks when we forget. Me not know why because it's true. I must have true him as a DC. Him taking in a regular in a custody. He said, not get the thanks. He not get nothing. Ah, uh, Ellington does the study in a regular police." And just, that's it. The man said, I get no thanks now, not the man. The man said, him feel a way and him feel down. And I tell us about, we hold him up, see him, we are unspeed, we embrace him, and he feel a two. But I want to tell you, I hold up on that Kingston East. So I'm not going to watch the video, you know. The man then named Garnet Taylor, ex district constable for the attorney, regular police. Him have over 27 children out there. The man tell me that. Because the man spread his wings, you know. You know, the man spread out in thing. So, all the baby mother, 27 people in count. For him tell me, say, in count. I don't have any more. So, I say, if you know the pump patrol and sick, and buck up any one of them and then tell him, say, that man was them father, I ask you, know, treat them good. Because them deserve it. Because them father never get the thanks for him to get. And true father never get it. Them father never get it. Give the children them. Yes man, so I must use this opportunity to big up, you know, Corporal General. Yeah man, Corporal, you know, those of us who have interact with him or work with him, you know, know that that's a great scalawa. You know, so but we, you know, we call him General. I one thing with him, you know, he's a rounded police officer, you know. Not fully rounded, but him rounded, you know. You understand? So we give him credit because he insists, you know, that this man did not get the, um, the recognition and that this channel, yes, man, we must because as a farmer, St. Andrew South, as a farmer, South is in our police force, yes, we have to recognize one of our own. You know, and let them know um, that fighting crime pays. But it pays in a sense, but in a next sense, it, 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 don't, it, it, it doesn't. Because if, if District Council began it, I turn a blind eye to what happened. He could have he collected a lot of money from Sergeant uh, Russell right there, Russell Robinson, because he was offering him money to and all of that stuff, but he, he held his own. And to show you how corrupt the police force is. The same way this commissioner of police right now, uh, Major Anthony Anderson, promoted a man from the army to an ASP. Mr. Ellington could have done that. Mr. Ellington could have done the same thing for this district constable who have done an exceptional job. But guess what? You see the man that 
the DC arrest um arrest and charge with the arms dealing. That man was Ellington Portage. So it's like somebody who's in a circle, you know, commit a crime and guess what? The person who's at the top is a part of that circle. So we expect you're not going to get anything. So that's how corruption is in the police force. You don't know who who is who and who is not who. So moving on. Wickedness increases and love grows cold. And to be fear is the meaning of love. And in the psyche of the black man, to be fear is the meaning of love. So it's just that the madness that they you know that's been perpetuate, perpetuated on the Jamaican people. So you know, so we're continuing the journey. So at the time Mr. Ellington was the acting commissioner of police. And you know, he was there talking to journalists. The morning, you know, at the house at Muster Road in East Kingston, where the police seized 19 high powered weapons and close to 10,000 rounds. Let me repeat it. The police seized 19 high powered weapons and close to 10,000 rounds of ammunition. And you know, the former minister, Dwight Nelson, he was there. And you know, Sergeant Russell Robinson was among 11 persons arrested for the arms that the police say were stolen from the police armor. But this man was working there, you know, and he was the poster boy for the police force. The cops arrested by colleagues in the massive arm fire. A police sergeant was among 11 persons detained following yesterday's seizures of 19 high power weapons and close to 10,000 rounds of ammunition at a house in East Kingston. But I mean, the shock and shame that the sergeant arrest brought onto the constabulary force, police also feel a sense of pride that is pleased for his colleague not to arrest him was ignored by the five cops who smashed what a sizable gun rolling operation was. The guns and ammunition were allegedly stolen from the police armory and were evidently to be sold to criminals as a result of the early morning bust and muster road off Mountain View Avenue. Acting Commissioner of Police Owen Ellington ordered the immediate closure of the police armory and stores. Ellington also ordered that all members of the armory and stores, police and civilian alike, to be interviewed and undergo polygraph thefts by investigators from the anti-corruption branch. But you know, life is very, very funny, you know, that these people um, are then polygraph other people when they are the ones who are supposed to do in the polygraphs, you know, because they are the real crooks, you know. Right now, I know a, um, a deputy superintendent, I, I know a deputy superintendent, one uh, who handed, who held a man with a legal gun and handed it back to him because he get money from Willie Agard. I don't, I don't know if them ask them all those things in the polygraph thing. Then I know another police officer who, you know, gasset officer who used to be a drugs mule, who used to take up cocaine in his belly um, to the United States of America. Yes, and it was a cousin of mine who was a police officer too who told me. And when I, you know, when I expressed myself and denounced his action. He was shocked because he could not believe that I did not see the world as he did because it's all about making money and no morals or ethics or decency. But these are the people that are making rank. So, honestly, I haven't spoken to my cousin like for over 17 years from then because I told him, I said, look, man, you know, you know that, we, you know, our family background and, you know, my grandfather and stuff like that, you know, this is shame and disgrace that what you're saying because, you know, many lives that you have destroyed and stuff like that, you know, but, you know, but hey, some people is just all about money, you know, no morals or ethics, you understand, you know, you can know all kind of people in this world, but some things you do not do, but moving on, so, you know, as, so, as, you know, so, you know, t, you know, when you have people who are criminal minded, you know, them go after them, them competitors, as of now, the police army and stores are considered a crime scene. I am taking this action because of the possible involvement of police personnel 
in the unlawful removal and possible sale of, of, of weapons seized this morning, that was yesterday, to criminal elements, Ele Ellington said in a release. In addition, a complete administrative and security audit will be done immediately of both armories and stores by the inspectorate of the constabulary, said Ellington, who also suspended the ser sergeant. But it's his friends, you know. Police said the guns and ammunition were seized after a routine patrol by members of the... Yes, you know that we have gone over the allotted time by about five minutes. Because you know that most people... Attention span is like that of a goldfish. After five seconds, they start fidgeting, they start looking all over, you know. All, all areas of the body that normally even don't scratch that, scratch them and they want to do something. So I don't want to, you know, bore the audience or with too much information. I know men like my good friend Big Wayne. Yes, man, he up Big Wayne. Big Wayne don't mind because he said knowledge is power and he's upset whenever I break it. He made it known to me. So I want to big up Big Wayne. Man. Yeah, man, Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year to you when it comes, my brother. Yeah, man, heal up a man like Big Wayne, man. Very, very active and loyal um, subscriber for years. You know, so, yeah. So we continue the journey. And we come on, you know, with part two. But, you know, we have to educate the people because what we want here, you know, us as a community, you know, we want a Jamaica that I grew up into, into the 1980s, when there was no artificial borderline. When a man who have a gun, him not, him not show off and tell nobody, say, I'm a gun or a show no gun. Him hide it because what? Him know certain time the police come, yeah, man. Him know, know say, boy, dust him, I get dust out, you know. Big time, you know, that's how it used to work. Until the woke activists them come on and start making crazy money. So we have to break it right here and you know we'll continue the journey. Merry Christmas and a happy new year to all my viewers and subscribers when it come on your family. Stay fierce and keep your head on the swivel. So we're gonna continue the journey in the next part coming up. One love.